Šiandien Gruzija ir Lietuva vienėje bendrų svartybės, bendri interesai ir mūsų šalių žmonės sieja tvirti ryšiai. Ir labai trumpai norėčiau pristatyti apie ką mes kalbėjom šiuo metu susitikime ir kas buvo akcentuota tiek iš mano pusės, tiek iš Gruzijos ministro pirmininko pusės. Tai Lietuva, noriu pabrėžti, kad tvirtai remia Gruzijos suveranumą ir jos teritorinį vintisumą. Ir nelegalus pasienių ženklinimas pietų Ausetijoje bei judėjimas Bilisijo kontroliuojamos teritorijos link yra rimtas Gruzijos suveranumo ir teritorinio vintisumo pažeidimas. Lietuva pasirengusi suteikti pagalbą Gruzijai, gyvendinant būtinas reformas susijęsia su Gruzijos europiniais ir euroatlantiniais siekiais. Ir tikime, kad Gruzijos piliečiai netrukus galės naudotis judėjimo laisvę visoje Europoje. Taip pat labai yra aktuolus klausimas dėl susitarimų, dėl išsamios ir visapusiškos laisvosios prekybos erdvės įsigaliojimas. Manau, kad jų atnešė pirmosius teigiamus rezultatus. Ir pastaruoju metu padidėjo importas iš Gruzijos į Lietuvą ir į kitas Europos Sąjungos šalis. Ir reikia labai aiškiai pabrėžti, kad Europos Sąjungos muitų tarifai yra panaikinti, tačiau visa nauda bus pasiekta už baigus derinti visus teisės aktus. Rytoj pradėsime pirmąjį tarp vyriausybinės komisijos posėdį ir susitikinęs, kad komisijos darbas smarkiai prisidės prie dvišalių santykių intensyvėjimo, ir padės mums toliau stiprinti ir gilinti mūsų glaudžius ryšius. Taip pat atkreipime dėmesį teisės viršenybės, teisėsaugos reformos, žiniasklaidos laisvės svarbą užtikrinant demokratijos plėtrą Gruzijoje. Aišku, ir taip pat neramina mūsų pasiekiančios žinios apie susidarius įtampą dėl kai kurių Gruzijos žiniasklaidos priemonių veiklos laisvių. For hosting me and my delegation um, from Georgia. This is my first visit in this capacity. I was here two years ago when I was the Minister of Interior Affairs and um, it is needless to say how much we value our friendship and partnership with uh, Lithuania. Let me also use this opportunity to thank the government and you personally, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, for all the support rendered uh, to the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Georgia and also uh, our European and Euro-Atlantic aspirations throughout the years. Lithuania is our friend, a true friend that fully supports Georgia and Georgia's aspiration to become a member of European Union and NATO. And uh, I have to say that Lithuania's achievements for us, for Georgians, are, as we say, exemplary. And uh, valuable experience and expertise that you show immensely help us to implement significant reforms and build a truly strong, uh, democratic and prosperous state. Uh, we have discussed many issues during our bilateral uh, meeting uh, with the Prime Minister. Uh, we discussed about our, about our uh, good friendship, about the cooperation in many fields. I want to express again my gratitude for uh, your support uh, that you are rendering to us uh, in every field. We're getting uh, very practical support uh, in many areas. Uh, I also want to mention that uh, we have a very positive trend, a positive dynamic in our economic uh, trade relationship. Uh, trade uh, increased by 30% last year, and this year already 40%, and tourism is, is growing. It grew by 100% last year, and also this year by 100% from Lithuania to Georgia. Uh, and also uh, there are many Georgian tourists who visit Lithuania. I also want to mention, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, that um, uh, tomorrow we're going to hold this uh, first economic commission, which is another uh, very strong and uh, positive signal uh, to our 
uh, investors, to everyone that uh, we're focused on uh, intensifying our uh, trade economic relationships. Um, I also want to mention that in June, Honorary Consulate of Lithuania was inaugurated in Batumi. Uh, now it's our pleasure that Honorary Consulate of Georgia will be opened in the Kaunas. Um, on my part, let me reaffirm that, uh, of course, the European integration remains a cornerstone of our country's foreign and uh, domestic policy uh, as the best. And we are determined to deliver more on the agreed uh, reform agenda to bring Georgia in line with the European standards, and primarily by effective implementation of the Association Agreement and the CFTA, which is the top priority of my government. Of course, the visa liberalization action plan that we discussed during our meeting, this is uh, a crucial uh, issue and this is very important for us, for Georgian citizens, and we hope that the final decision uh, in December will be a positive regarding the visa-free regime for Georgian citizens. Uh, of course, we also discussed about the NATO uh, integration. Uh, we stress the importance uh, on uh, strengthening uh, relationship and cooperation uh, regarding this. Uh, I want to repeat that uh, Georgia is the second largest uh, troop contributor to Afghanistan and uh, also um, we participated in the EU-led crisis operation in the Central African Republic last year uh, and uh, we're going to continue. Uh, of course we discussed about the uh, situation in the occupied regions in uh, Abkhazia and Ossetia uh, and um, of course we want to uh, thank uh, the Prime Minister and his government uh, for um, uh, his full support uh, regarding these issues. So finally, I want to thank you again for your warm hospitality, and I'm sure that we will have very fruitful discussions during today and tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks so much.